Tommy's journey is a young boy witnessing a murder, and through that all of his senses are psychologically blocked out, and he enters a transcendent state where he is taking in things all around the world, and he gathers all of these things, and once he comes out of the state, he's able to pass those on and hopefully help the world around him to be a better place through his knowledge that he's gained. I would describe the show as thrilling. Um, it's very moving. It's emotional. I, I would think it's very powerful. Hearing that music and having it all come together is such an amazing thing. And, um, the music is just so incredible. Working with all of the incredibly talented people, that's been, for, for me, the best part. Um, how professional people have been about everything, working through emotions, and, and everyone, top to bottom, is, is, is on their game and ready to tell the story, whatever it may be. <laughs> My favorite part here at UNC would definitely have to be the experience I've um, had with other students and definitely teachers. I've grown tremendously in the past year. It's ridiculous. Having uh, the ensemble singing with us for the first time was, was really incredible. And I feel like uh, hearing that music and having it all come together is such an amazing thing. I think the dance numbers are going to amaze the audience. They're so fun to watch, especially numbers like Pinball Wizard or Cousin Kevin. And the movements are so precise and the dancers are so energized. It's just a blast to watch them. This show is definitely fierce. Uh, spunky, very energetic throughout the whole show. It was the first rock opera ever made in 1969 and really paved the way for other ones to come like Jesus Christ Superstar, American Idiot, and I think it's going to be really hard for people to sit in their seats at the show and not just want to jump up and sing along and dance with everyone. I'm super excited and I can't wait for everyone to see you. Come see Tommy March 2nd through the 6th.